Now let's shift gears. News 5 investigates getting results for you. Now last week, we told you how someone fraudulently accessed a veteran's account through the VA's e-benefits system and then rerouted his benefits check. Initially, the VA said it would take as long as three weeks to return his money to him, but 24 hours after our story aired, the VA called the couple to tell them they would reissue that check immediately. Here's Chief Investigative Reporter Eric Ross with a follow-up. We just confirmed the Stevenson family has received their benefits check, but sadly our investigation found more than 800 e-benefits accounts have been compromised so far this year. I just, you know, want to let other veterans know, check their accounts to see if this, you know, make sure it doesn't happen to them. Everybody's got bills, everybody's got things they need you know, their money for. Just a few days before David and Aubrey Stevenson left town for a wedding, someone had accessed David's e-benefits account and changed his direct deposit. David had no idea until the VA sent him a letter a few days later saying his direct deposit request had been processed and to call a 1-800 number if there were any problems. Well, they shouldn't be able to change my contact info and my direct deposit. You should have to do that in person. I believe that that should definitely be done in person. Without any apparent safeguards, the hacker was able to easily reroute David's check to an out-of-state bank. In a statement, a VA spokesperson admitted 870 e-benefits accounts have been compromised in 2018 and said the VA takes fraud allegations and the security of veterans' information seriously. When a fraud case is reported, the VA investigates and determines what actions are needed to protect the veterans' benefits and make things right. And the VA adds, although 870 accounts have been compromised, it's a relatively low number compared to the more than 7 million active e-benefits accounts. Cybersecurity experts say the best way to protect any account is to change your passwords frequently and never access personal accounts over public Wi-Fi networks. Watching out for veterans, Eric Ross, News 5 Investigates. Eric, thank you.